Welcome everybody, tonight I'm gonna show you how to create flag using a 3D Max. As always, as we start file, we just set the 3D Max, we press yes. Okay, now a geometry, we're gonna select geometry as always, and we select panel here. At front view, we're gonna put a flag, and just plain like this, exactly. Here at length segment, we just increase it to, let's say, 15, like this, okay, and also 54 the width segment. It's something it should be something like that. Okay, when we increase that just it make it more real and more softness for this plane. Okay. Now we select the plane, convert to convert to editable bubble like this. And we select something called a vertex. Okay? We select whole object expect this one last line of a vertex as you see. The red is selected and the blue is not unselected, okay? So mm, I will explain why we select whole thing but not the last one, okay? Now, here at modifier layers on file panel, we're gonna select something called flex. We keep press F on your keyboard to select something called flex like this. Okay, we looking for something called advanced spring like this. We put, we check the show springs. We check it, okay? And here at assemble soft bodies, we're gonna create assemble soft body button and press it, okay? Here we just press OK, it's just a vertex number and whatever. We just created it. Okay? Now we back again to advanced spring and uncheck spring again. Show springs is unchecked now, okay? Also at the top here at parameters we're gonna unselect use chest springs and use weights we're gonna uncheck both. Now the body is ready for simulate or let's say for mm, effects. So we need something just like say the force or the power to make this flag moving. We here space warps. We're gonna select the wind. You know, space warps. We're gonna select wind and create one right here at let's say a left side for the flag or right side or whatever you want it, and we rotate it to make the arrow face the flag like this. Okay, okay. And here we just make it really rotate. Perfect. Okay. Now here at geometry or modifier for the panel, sorry, at modify we're gonna make the strength for dot one only and here for the wind troubleness we're gonna make it just one here point one and here just one and this is the power for the uh, as you see here parameter is force we're gonna make it strength dot one and here at troubleness we're gonna make it one okay okay but now it there is no connected between the wind and the flag so we need to make it connected we select the flag again and here at the way where we okay as a forces and the flutter we press add okay now the add is in the part and add is effect we're gonna select here from the top select by name and I select the wind okay select by name a tool tool tab or whatever we call it we select select by name and we select one and then press pick exactly okay okay now let's say the animation now the wind is connected with the flag so let's make him see there's wow there's big mistakes here it's not good it look like a wind and look like a flag so we need here to change the parameters for each one here first of all at flex we're gonna put dot seven just to change the flex the flexible for the flag and here at the strength, mm, no, sorry, at the stretch here, we're gonna put something like uh, 20, and for stiffness, we're gonna make 16 like this. Okay, now let's start making animation again. Let's se select front view and make it. There is a nice and cool animation, a big difference between the first one we created. Let's see here, and we briefly see it's an old, but mm, we need another effect to make it more real. We add the wind. And as everybody know, there is something called a gravity. It's from the same space wall. We're gonna select something gravity. And the top view, we created it exactly, and make the arrow is down. But we can move it to be more sel selected exactly like this. But also, this gravity is not connected with this flag, so we should make it other connected with the flag. First of all, let's change the modify for it and put the strength just like um, say the one just make it small amount of the force for the graffiti now we're gonna connect it again we're gonna do same as we did with the wind force and deflected and deflectors we put add select by name and now we select only the graffiti and we select pick okay now let's make 
render sorry we don't need a render here you just make a play like this see flag is start to be more real because it's fall down but see at the first at the first uh, keyframes here at zero it's look like a, a plane which is not good so we just select it again and there is something we need to change here there is advanced parameter advanced parameter we are gonna make it um the start parameter is zero but we can make it like let's say the start from minus 20 like this okay okay now let's make a select and play again see now the zero is different now it's already moved you can make it like this see it's more affected okay now let's make uh, um let's put any flag we want here i already created a flag your country or your favorite team whatever we select here press m at your keyboard the material is gonna be shown like this we select anyone and diffuse we press the small button here and search for something called bitmap okay i saved it on the desktop here we're gonna select italy like this i create this one it can be any flag you want but let's say it's italy here and we just assign it to the okay now let's make just more render see it's a flag more on we can select here and let's make render here to see how that acts exactly that's what i'm looking for see that's why we sel we didn't select this one this line of buttons here as you remember this blue unselected we can remove it like this okay we we'll select it again okay now it's unselected that one why we don't select it because when you connect the flag if you d if you select whole pet or hold the vertex for the better when we put wind it's gonna be fly all over way you cannot see it, it just go away and we can use this animation for other things we need but here when a flag when we flag it we need it for this way we just don't select this one i think it's clear right now and let's say let's make a render here again to see the result this is what I'm looking for. It's a real flag for Italy. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm done tonight and I'm gonna see you later with other videos. Thanks everybody and have a good one. Bye.